Hey everyone, my name's Andy. Uh, my channel's Finding Value. We're gonna go into uranium analysis of, of, of previous price movements uh, and to see if we can see any sort of correlation here uh, in terms of market length and then project that market length forward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a couple of different things to do this to see and analyze uh, if, we're, if our timing is right or if these bull markets are all kind of aligning up. So let's look into it. Let's see if we have alignment. Let's see what these bull, uh, bull market durations are uh, and see kind of what the math tells us. So look at the chart here. I, I just All I did was break up, this is the, the uranium to gold uh, ratio. So I was, I'm looking at a ratio first. And all I did was draw lines at the bottom and at the top and then wrote in how many years it was before. Then I did it again and then I'm gonna do it again up here in the next slide. But roughly 15 years up, 15 years down. This is an outperformance of uranium, this is an underperformance of uranium to gold. So it's about a 30 year from top of ratio to top of ratio for uranium. About a 30 year. So looking at this, the pre previous cycle lengths, gold to uranium ratio is about 15 years for the bear market, 15 years for the bull market. Now if we use those same numbers. That would put us at a 2007 top and it would be about a 2022 bottom. It is about 15 years. So we're coming right up on that bottom here. And I think that aligns pretty well uh, with those ratios and with what we're seeing in the market today. Looking at charts, looking at market deficits, I, I think that's pretty close. And if that's the bottom of the bear market, this, you know, maybe it's next year or something like that, uh, we could see a bull market from 2022 to 2037 or 2021 to 2036, something on the lines of that. And that lines up really with where we're at today, w which makes sense. Now, what, about, what if we just looked at raw price? So I, I, what I did is I looked at the top to the top, roughly. And then I said it's about 24 years and about 31 years. So roughly 30 years late you know, upper 20s, something like that if you want to take an average. So what I looked at, and, and looking back here, this is a 30 year gap as well. So I use 30 years just because we have those two overlaps. Uh, and the previous cycle length, so from 52 to 76, that was a, a top to a top, is about 24 years. 76 to 2007, top to top, is about 31 years. So if you take a 2007 top, what would be the next projected top just based off of price? 30 years puts us at about a 2037 top. So if we go back, this correlates very well with the ratio as well at a 2037 you know, 20, year top. Um, so it's lining up, it looks pretty good. So you know, perhaps the top will be around 2037. You know, it looks like both the ratio and price cycle charts are about the same length of time. Uh, both ratio and price correlate with tops and bottoms with each other. So we've got this data, we've got two different data sets and they both correlate with each other, which, which is good. It's, they're, they're lining up and it's lining up with the fundamentals that we see in the market today. It's lining up with the deficits that a lot of others project, uh, like Red Cloud. It's, it's, it's all kind of lining up. So it's possible that the bottom of this bull market, or yeah, the bottom of the bear market and the beginning of the bull market is coming any second. The charts are looking pretty good to go higher. Perhaps COVID's gonna delay this thing and put it into the 2022, uh, you know, year 2022. I'm not 100% sure, but we, we are seeing all good, strong correlation here that a bear market will probably be ending very soon or if not already ended, and a bull market's about to begin. If you like this content, please subscribe. This is Finding Value uh, and click the thumbs up button.